Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement worth having. This is the beginning of most of my audio casts, regardless of what the topic is. What I'm trying to remind people about is where their rights begin and end in this world. We have people who have come to America who don't have any intention of leaving. They didn't necessarily come here unlawfully, they just didn't decide to leave lawfully. We have students who pretend that they have the right to continue on and get a job here. That is not truthful. We also have a system that is very broken which allows people to be and remain here illegally, unlawfully. What that means is they don't care about our taxes, they don't care about our lives, they don't care about our homes, they don't care what our property is, what our possessions are, and they don't care about our bodies either. Since I've been in Champaign, Illinois, I've had my beard cut down to size. I've had my body shaved from top to bottom because someone hits my food and then I'm out like a light. It is a sexual crime. It is a sexual predator that does these things to a man like me. I am simply homeless going through life after cybercrime, identity theft, and people have committed fraud on my medical rights, my privacy rights, my financial rights, and almost every right I have. You see, apparently the old treaties of America in the world don't matter to anyone but me. Apparently it only matters to you if it's happening to you or someone you love in your life. When you aggress against someone, when you take your matters into other people's hands without doing what the Lord in every work on God tells you to do, which is to go to that person and work things out and make things anew, you screw your life before God. The people who've been stealing my cell phones, interfering with my online profiles, stealing my identity in terms of intellectual content, and violating the law by financially benefiting from that work will go to jail. You see, what you don't gather is what a man can do in a long period of time. You see, it takes quite a while to build a business practice. It takes quite a while for a business to become a success and secure. It takes quite a while for someone who knows what they're doing to get help totally in this world because of people's selfishness. So don't tell me you're Christian because you're stealing from me. And don't tell me you're Muslim because you're sexually inappropriate with me. And don't tell me that you're some sort of Hindi because you think you know what God makes, yet you forget your own deities that have both parts and you know it today. When I'm talking about truth, I'm talking about the anthropological and historical works on God that are being abused and reused and fixed to make someone else feel good about their version of God. Don't come into my life and try and tell me who the Holy Ghost is if you don't even know your own ancestors by name, if you don't even know your own guides by their names. Give me a break. You're trying to be something to me that you're not. Every little girl lies in this world is true, and men get deceived and hurt. Men lie and hurt women. That's what we do. And yet there is no commandment that says thou shall not lie. But there is plenty in the good books of the world that say do not deceive. Because when you deceive, you are a part of the deceiver. You are a part of Satan's force. You are a part of the dark jinn. You are a part of darkness. You are a part of, well, not light. In life, you have to decide who you support. Do you support a light, loving God who wants you to thrive and survive and be profitable in this world? Or do you support Satan who wants you to survive and literally die in this world? When you attack a person's life in inappropriate ways, either intellectually, emotionally, psychologically, physically, or sexually, you are inappropriate before God.